What's good YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again back with the Bang of the Day guys on the initial thoughts and review of the CZ Scorpion 3 Plus. <laughs> that since this video I have actually shot the scorpion and I'll play some footage within the actual video itself of me shooting it and remarkable remarkable gun but I'll be doing a follow-up with it more you know fully set up in my actual review but these are just my initial thoughts and opinions now guys first and foremost I want to say huge shout out to everybody in the building who went and watched my Sig Sawyer P320 review and uh, the supports, man, from people out there that are in the gun community, who own guns, who follow their Second Amendment responsibly, safely, the right way. You feel me? Salutes to everybody out there for that. Um, I'm not a gun expert at the end of the day. I'm just a guy that likes guns just like I like shoes and like plenty of other things out there. And I recently picked up the CZ Scorpion, finally. You know, I finally uh, gave in and got this gun here. Uh, very um, special gun, a very uh, popular gun, you know, especially if someone if you grew up playing Call of Duty or play Call of Duty to this day, the CZ Scorpion, the Evo 3, being an iconic gun out there in the uh, pistol carbine format as well and now able to be bought by people like us uh, civilians out there and they just recently dropped the plus three to this which is their new generation of the gun and some people don't like it some people do like it me personally i do like it but i understand why a lot of people don't like it as well now uh, this is initial thoughts initial opinions i haven't even shot this gun yet i'm going to be shooting it very soon right now this is how it comes and this is the actual box it came in as well and i wanted to kind of just give you guys my thoughts and opinions and unboxing and whatnot of the gun and go through it and just to let y'all know fully you know what I'm saying uh fully empty as always safety safety is key safety is key this is the box though it comes in you open the box it has a little manual then you have this stuff right here and then inside the box it comes with the two magazines, the gun, a lock, and a cleaning kit. The little cleaning kit right here on the side as well. Uh, really nice, real nice of CZ to, you know, to be, to uh, give those extra things and extremities to it, you know, and whatnot. And voila, you got a brush, you got the bore cleaner, you got a. I, I even see that you got the uh, alloy right there, or Allen wrench. Um, you got a snake, you got the lock right here. You feel me? A lot of little things going on, some cloth to clean it and whatnot. And uh, very, very dope. But the gun itself, um, voila, here it goes. The Six uh, Sour, thanks for everybody who helped me uh, fix my uh, wrong pronunciation, is a Romeo 5. It does not come with this. I just put this on, just dressed it up just to check it out. But with this um, mount, you know, with the low mount on and with this optic on, I have an absolute co-witness. And these are, I believe they called it, um, I don't know if it was, silencer uh optics or silencer silencer uh, sights it just rate is their raised sights compared to the previous model out there it's not like the original model was way lower as far as sights go and as you can see you can actually see the three plus on the side there and they changed a couple little things from the handguard and whatnot you know took away that picatinny that was on the side that a lot of people was not liking because it you know it just when you hold it and gripping it it didn't have a good feel unless you had like some sort of cushioning on there now this comes in two different formats this is the pistol format which is a seven inch barrel and then there's the micro mini that comes with the four inch barrel now overall length when i looked at it though in the overall length when i looked online uh Forgive me, I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but if you look at it, you can look at it on their website. There was only a difference in one inch in difference of the actual overall length. So that's weird for it being a four inch barrel and a seven inch barrel, but I went with the seven inch barrel for better ballistics, better, you know, recoil, all the above. I just felt like four inches is way too small to be shooting this type of gun, me personally, you feel what I'm saying? So I went with the seven. It comes with this Fox suppressor, a faux suppressor, my bad that uh, I think I'm gonna get like a, a grip wrench to take it off. I heard it's not that easy. I can't just take it off with my hand. 
So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to take that off, but I won't really even do that till I actually get like a silencer or something. Comes with these M guards, real nice sights. The sights seem to be good as they go, but we'll see when we go to the range. You also, as you might know, the, uh, it, well, yeah, I won't. It has the HK slap type of mechanism with the CZ Scorpion. Comes with brand new magazines, and that's one of the biggest changes in the CZ platform, the plus three platform, is that they went with more of a AR, uh, uh, ergonomics, obviously ergonomics, ergonomics with this gun, with the you know mag release on this side as well as this instead of the old school model which was a little latch kind of like the HK that went there. You also have on the bottom here two on each side ambidextrous. Um, I'm saying it wrong. Ambidextrous. I'm saying it wrong, but yeah, both sides where you can close the actual bolt. That's also something different. So let me see if I can make it happen. I won't. There you go. Take it out. Bolt closed with this finger or that, and it's in a finger reach. You also have the same ambidextrous, I think I said it right that time, safety on both sides. You feel what I'm saying? I really like that a lot. Real close to the finger. You don't have to really, you know, you can kind of do it all in one. I can I can move it with my this my left thumb. This everything is in reach. I don't have to really take my hand off the gun. They changed the grip as well. Previous grip is kind of angled out straight with a big ass dong on the building of you know the end of it. I like this look overall. I like the overall look of it. I have nothing to complain. But as stated, one of the reasons why a lot of people are not big on getting this one or was against it was mainly because of the magazines. Now the magazines are backwards compatible, but not forward, but the, the old school magazines are not forward compatible. Basically, these magazines can be used on any Evo out there, but this gun can't take older magazines. However, I do have here that I bought on the internet. They sell custom, you know, uh, mags out there that you can get on the internet that people are out there pretty much making these magazines. You know, this was a old school Evo magazine. And if you could see right there, that little square, this square, that was drilled out with like a 3D driller or something like that, lasered out. That little square is basically the main difference from the old mags to the new mags. This is what catches on, you know, on there and what, allows you to take it out. So you see right here, older magazines don't have that. So to y'all out there, a lot of people are not liking that, but hey, if you end up getting this and you wanna use it, you can just, you know, there's little uh, tutorials and manuals out there on how you can, you know, get like a little uh, exacto knife and cut that out and do it yourself so that all your previous mags and old school mags can now fit in this gun. So now we have a 35 rounder right here, you know, and I'm pretty sure Magpul will eventually adapt that and go into the direction of the newer mags and just make that little quick adjustment. They're gonna make their money on their old school mags, but they're gonna start doing these as well because like I said, these can be used on old mags so it's not like a lose-lose. They pretty much just update this. Now you can get people with the plus three and you get people with the older school generations out there. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm pretty sure they'll get to that very, very soon. Um, but you have a whole different lower platform pretty much when it comes to the gun. I haven't shot it yet, so that's one thing I'm gonna have to wait and see. Tomorrow, I do have a uh, brace coming in, and I wanted to give this uh, a, a, a initial thoughts and opinions pretty much bare bone on this gun. And at the same time, with that being said, I wanna take off this Romeo to kind of give you a better look of how this gun is gonna just actually look bare bones. I don't, you know, I feel like that, I just wanted to show you how it would look with the optics, but this is how it looks, you know? I just, I love it. I love the look of it. You know, it's gonna be good with the folded, with the folded uh, brace, you know, and then with it, you know, I, hopefully everything goes well. Um, I had the AP5, I had the Vector, this as well is something to add to the collection. I know a couple of friends that own these and, you know, always liked the look of it. And it's always been an iconic type of gun for me as a, you know, just growing up and in general, but now I finally got one, you feel me? This one is actually cheaper than the micro version. And this is supposedly a limited run, meaning they're running this through the summer and who knows if they continue on in this pistol format, the pistol version. Supposedly the micro is the real direction they're gonna be going in and then afterwards, or who knows what it is. So if you go on the website, you'll see this one is actually cheaper. I think it's going for $9.99 where the pistol version is going for like 1200 or 13 or something like that. It's the same gun and people have hit up uh, CZ and asked them like, what's the main differences? 
and they said it's no main there's nothing that the reason why the price doesn't go up for this one is because they use pretty much all the same stuff from the micro and all that was really different was the barrel itself and that didn't cost significant amount of money i, I still don't understand though how the longer bigger one is cheaper than the smaller shorter less material i i, I don't get it but hey i like this version more so uh, uh, it, it is what it is. No QD mounts whatsoever. So that's a that's one big con. I mean, you could probably install something on the end lock or there is actually a, my bad. There is a QD mount. My bad on the back here. There is a QD mount. However, if you put a brace on it, there isn't one. I believe this is a QD mount. That's what it looks like. You could put it on here and hang it from that. But I don't plan on running it like this. I plan on putting a brace on, and I'm pretty sure the brace will have a QD mount for me to put it on there. So I don't know. It's yeah. I hope I'm could be correct me if i'm wrong you know i'm not an expert here I'm, I'm i'm a guy that's willing to learn and love to hear you guys' feedback in the comment section on things if i say stuff wrong pronounce stuff wrong um i'm a learner at the end of the day and uh you know i'm enjoying it comes with two 20 round mags and you can find the you know these type of mags floating around on the internet uh fairly easy 35 rounder right there and i'm pretty sure magpul will eventually get to it and give us something for this platform so if you're someone out there that hasn't gotten one of these yet i would say you know new scorpion buyers some definitely recommend it. if you're old school scorpion buyer and got all these mags and stuff and then going in this that's one of the biggest things you're going to have to get used to is finding this or just finding new magazines but as far as that it is what it is i do got a light coming in i got uh i'm thinking about moving this hand stop i don't like it way up here because i'm gonna it would make me put my hands like this when shooting it and i don't like my finger i need to find my hand placement on how i want to shoot this one I, I i don't like my hand placement right here for some i just feel like it's too close you know so i need to slide this back or something or figure something out you know but i'm gonna have a light i have the sig sour red dot and uh, a brace and i think I'm, that's pretty much it man this is a definitely a good gun to go nine millimeter um you know good defensive gun for your home or whatever you want to do but definitely i'm gonna be taking it to the range and having some fun with this one so happy to finally join the cz family and let me know you guys thoughts and opinions on this one down below man it's my second review on the cz initial thoughts and opinions on the cz scorpion i'll do a follow-up with the gun decked out and let you guys know how it fired, range time, and all the above. So stay tuned on that. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I'm going to see y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace.